Hey everyone, it's Katie from the Everhart Museum from Museum Adventure Week for K through 2, Week 2, and this is Art Week. We are printing today, and today we are going to use a 3D printout of a woodblock print. Uh, this is a recreation of a portion of a woodblock that the Everhart Museum has on collection, so you guys can see and feel exactly how it is uh, in the historical woodblock and have one of your own made out of 3D printed plastic to create prints for yourself. So I went ahead and I'm gonna use my second color of primary color paint, so I'm sure not to run out. I cleaned my brayer, I got a new inking tray, I have a few more pieces of paper, try not to use more than four, and my wet wipes and my work mat, just to keep my space nice and clean. Now in your packet for your uh, lesson plans, there's something really important. It has you repeating the steps two through 12 from the first printing day. So a lot of the steps are very similar to the Gyotaku fish. Uh, we're just switching the color and there's one extra trick that's gonna make our plastic uh, block work a little bit better on this paper. So I'm gonna show you that extra trick here. So I have my brayer and my paint on my right hand side because I write with my right hand. I'm gonna grab a wet wipe just to have it ready. And this is not for cleanup yet, but they're definitely in there for cleanup and specifically to make this block work a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave it right here in the middle. So just like uh, the other day for your fish print or your gyotaku, I'm gonna roll my brayer up and down and then to cover it completely, lift and roll, lift and roll to go sideways as well. So I want evenly covered brayer of blue ink so that when I'm ready, I'll be able to roll it all over the bumpy side of my block. So when I go to print my block, I wanna know where I'm gonna put it on my paper because this is where you need your wet wipe. If you just go and print this, actually I'll do one for you to show you how much of a difference it makes. I'm gonna roll my ink onto my print, get a little bit more ink and roll it on there so all of those bumps show up just like the Everhart Museum's collection piece and press it onto my paper. So if you just roll it and press it and peel it up, your print's gonna look like that and it's kind of sad. So we want to prep our paper a little bit and we want to dampen it by using this wet wipe. So you don't want to rub in really hard so that you uh, crumble your paper. You just want to wet your paper so that it's damp and ready to accept this ink. So notice I'm only wiping about the size of my block. Now I'm ready to work quickly but not sloppily and cover my block once again with my second color of paint. Remember I used red for my fish yesterday and I'm gonna remember right where I put that wet wipe and now print it and use my fist or my palm to press it into my paper and let's see how much better that print turned out. So much better. So I have at least four pieces of paper that I can do this on or I can just practice until I'm happy with it and don't forget to use your wet wipe in the area where you're going to print it to dampen your paper before you roll it onto your block and stamp it in that same place where you just wipe the paper and give it a nice little back grab. There you go. So print as many as you want. You could be like Andy Warhol and do blocks of four, or sometimes he did rows of four, uh, but we're getting inspired from Katsushike Hokusai, who was a wood block printer. Uh, so that's why we have a block print to create as many of your block prints as you choose. Lastly, be sure to wash your brayer really well, clean up any messes at your workspace, and if you want to reuse this, you can, or you can throw it away because we did give you a few more for the rest of the lessons. Have fun printing and cleaning up after yourself for your block print on day two.